No, no we're not. We're all born with the desire to know that there's something out there, there must be something more and such. You know, earthly things are n just not going to satisfy. How many times have you ever come across some character or some real person who says, well, there's something more out there, there's something more, I just feel like I'm missing something, you know? You hear the same testimonies over and over and over. When we're born, we don't automatically know Jesus or God, I know that, but if you actually re read what Paul said to the Greeks in Acts 17, I quote, and hath made of one blood all nations of men for to dwell on all the face of the earth, and have determined the times before appointed and the bounds of their habitation, that they should seek the Lord, if happily they might feel after him and find him, though he be not far from every one of us. See, we're created to know God. We're not born atheists, as the logical fallacy that so many evolutionists like to spout, and I don't care if it gets a lot of thumbs up, no, that's a logical fallacy. That's false, that's stupid, it's silly. Born with a desire to study, to acknowledge things, to, uh, to gain knowledge, to reason with things, to understand the reason of things, why things are going on, and understand what the purpose of life. This is kind of like a funny comment I heard from a friend of mine. Atheists make it their purpose in life to say there is no purpose in life. I mean, seriously, What's the whole purpose with that? Do you really want to go on through life feeling like that life is meaningless or uh, you want to say that to other people and just cause suicide rates to rise? I mean, seriously, people always wonder why there are suicides in the world. I mean, mostly the main factor is because people think there is no purpose to life, that life is meaningless, that life is hell, that life is cruel, that life is mean. People who are not even introduced to the truth. I mean. What you believe determines how you behave. There's an art, a newspaper article, Your Kids Go Ape in School. Here's why. They're being taught evolution, which says that the strongest survives, there is no God, uh, there's just a natural selection, meaningless brute survival and such. I mean, that's just absolute chaos. It's satanic. It's not a clear teaching for the human conscience that's going to develop proper more character, logic, or behavior, or, or social behavior. I think I can sum it up with one testimony of my own. When I first came across the picture of Charles Darwin, like the saddest looking man I had ever seen in my life, I'd never seen his face more sad or depressed or draught or rather grief stricken. Honestly, that's what the impact of evolution really does to an average person. I mean, your lifestyle eventually shows up on your face. Any person could tell you that. All I gotta say is, be happy, God loves you, there is a purpose for life. That's all I gotta say for this video. Peace out, keep thinking, Jesus bless you, and TDFN, ta-da for now.